Hi guys, what's up? Um, you're delusional. <laughs> so excited. I'm ready to gaslight gatekeep and girl boss. I'm not well. Happy Monday. I decided that I would do a sort of weekly vlog this week and just kind of bring you along throughout my week. I'm not gonna like go in depth every day, but just kind of highlights of what my week looks like. I am about to do some makeup because I'm gonna be streaming over on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I have a stream that's starting in about an hour, so I'm gonna put on just a little bit of makeup. But if I have time before stream starts, I thought I would show you guys some of the books that I am unhauling, that I'm getting rid of, I'm donating, because I recently organized my bookshelf and I picked out a few books that I'm gonna be getting rid of that I don't wanna keep, and so I thought maybe that'd be fun to kind of show you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go put on some makeup real quick and then we'll hop into it. Before we do that though, I wanna insert a clip that I took yesterday, Sunday night, because I finished the Folk of the Air series, which is The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing. So I'm gonna insert that while I do my makeup, and then we'll talk about some books I did not enjoy. So over the past two weeks, I think it's been exactly 11 days, I've been reading The Cruel Prince and the series, the trilogy that encompasses it, which is the Folk of the Air series. And I just finished The Queen of Nothing. And I am so sad. I am so sad that it's over. I'm literally so sad. And the fact that I managed to finish the entire thing so quickly and be so in love with the characters and everything, I'm just, I just can't fathom reading about anyone else but Jude and Carden right now. I just can't. Oh, I'm literally so sad. Keep in mind that the final book, The Queen of Nothing, I started this today. And I finished it today, so. I'm not well. Okay, I did my makeup. Just a slight, really simple glam. I'm gonna put on my lip now and I thought I would show you because I actually got sent some new lipsticks that are really cute and I thought I would try one out. They're from Merit Beauty. So cute, their packaging. And it came with like a free makeup bag, which is adorable. I believe everyone's first order comes with a free bag. So that's really cute. But they sent me two lipsticks. It's just their signature lip. And I have the shades slip and baby i think i'm gonna try baby look at that packaging oh, doesn't that look so gorgeous underneath i'm just gonna put some of the charlotte tilbury iconic nude lip liner this is like my go-to everyday lip liner and it is very pale girl friendly which I appreciate. Okay, now we'll take the lipstick. Mm. Hold on. Is that not like the most perfect everyday pinky nude? I'm obsessed. Are you joking? Are you joking? I will have Merit linked down below. They're not sponsoring me or anything. They just kindly sent me some products to try, uh, but I'll have a link down below if you wanna check them out because I'm obsessed with this color. Okay, well, while we're here, I'm actually at my bookshelf because I kind of wanted to show you guys since I mentioned that I like reorganized everything. So I wanna give you like a mini bookshelf tour. So here it is. This is most of my books, but I do have a few things right over there. Those are like all my children's books that I have, Josh's books, and then like my books from like middle school are over there. But yeah, there actually is a method to the madness. So up here we have, these are all books that I've already read or like didn't finish. I think there's like a few like Book Thief I never finished, uh, Midnight Sun I need to read, but I've read Twilight so I put it up here. We have the After series hiding back there, which is 
we're just gonna pretend like that's not there but everything else up here is just like regular fiction of some sort that i've already read and then this second shelf right under it has all of my classics whether i've read them or not i just put them here and then right here is all the books i've read so far this year i just have them lined up you can see my babies oh. this right here is one of my newest obsessions that i got on etsy it's a stamp and so i go in every book and i can stamp it and then it says like from the library of me let me show you an example i'll show you with miss sally rooney like hello so worth it obsessed with it i'll link the etsy store in the description box if i remember um but yeah and then down here is my tbr shelf for fiction so any fiction whether it's a romance uh sci-fi fantasy whatever is all right here but yeah this is just my tbr shelf so any books i haven't read yet and then i have some miscellaneous bookmarks and stuff this little b thing i got at target like last week for like three bucks love it so freaking cute okay and then the bottom shelf this is all of on this left side is my nonfiction, and then like from right here over is my poetry and then this stack right here is my tbr for nonfiction and poetry so and then i have my little wayne pop funko <laughs> right there <laughs> but yeah that is the current bookshelf basically without going into depth with every book that's the overview so when i organized this i got a little pile of books that i will be donating some of them i've read some of them i haven't read they're just books i don't really care about books i don't want to keep so i thought i would show you them because i thought it would be kind of interesting so the first one is the seller by natasha preston this is actually a wattpad story that got adapted into this thriller i did not even know this existed until it was already published and i and i read it when i was 12 or 13 but it follows this girl and she gets kidnapped by this crazy man in a cellar with three other girls and instead of calling them their real names he names them after flowers so she's called lily and then there's rose poppy and violet and they pretend they like role play as like this family like they cook for him they care take care of him but they're just trapped in this underground cellar and i just remember this being like so bad like i don't know if you read this on wattpad or if you've read this and you, a lot of people love this book i actually still see it like on display at barnes and noble now and i read it almost a decade ago so people really do love it and enjoy it. i think there's like sequels i don't remember much about the story all i remember is i hated it and i thought it was so cheesy again like i don't even really remember what happens but every time i think about this book i'm just like that was not an enjoyable reading experience for me for me okay for me to me to me bitch just because i don't enjoy some of these books or i'm getting rid of them or whatever doesn't mean that you might not like them or someone else won't love them that's literally why i'm donating them because i'll probably never read them again never touch them again wouldn't really recommend them to anyone else so it's like might as well give them to a new home for somebody that might appreciate them you know number two is confessions of a murder suspect by james patterson i've actually never read this i don't even remember buying this this was just on my shelf and i guess it's a number one new york times bestseller it's a it's a murder mystery but honestly i don't know what it is i feel like i'm just not interested in reading anything by james patterson i know literally nothing about james patterson other than he writes so many freaking books and a lot of like middle-aged white men love them it follows four teenagers and one of them is a murderer i guess next is this is what happy looks like by jennifer e smith i actually did read this and i remember enjoying it again i was like probably like 12 or 13 all of these actually i got when i was around 12 or 13. graham larkin and ellie o'neill and they meet virtually when they accidentally like email each other when they're trying to reach someone else and they just have this big email correspondence and they become really close over emails ellie is in like a small southern town like home girl and then graham is like a celebrity i literally like i remember reading this and i remember enjoying it but i literally don't remember anything about the plot I'm I don't know and if, if it doesn't leave that much of a lasting impression on me what's the point of keeping it on my shelf you know i actually forgot i read this until i read the back and then i was like oh yeah i did read that the next book i wish i would have been able to read this is the naturals by jennifer lynn barnes and i'm pretty sure the problem with this is that it is like a second or third book in a series and i did not know that when i bought it at the time so i thought maybe i would get the first book in the series and be able to keep reading um mm, yeah no i guess i i uh 
did not do that. I actually remember like I started reading this at the time and I got like four or five chapters in and then I was like, wait a minute, like something's, I'm really confused. Like who are, like what is, where's the backstory? But basically it follows 17 year old Cassie who's a natural at reading people. She can piece together tiny details. She can tell you who you are, what you want, but it's not a skill that she's ever taken seriously until the FBI comes knocking and they begun a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to close infamous, famous cold cases. Really cool premise, but just not really interested in it all that much anymore and while i do enjoy good ya books i mean the cool prince series that i just finished was ya and i absolutely adored it but like ya thrillers and murder mysteries don't really do it for me anymore i would much rather read like an adult thriller or murder mystery so i think that's kind of why i'm getting rid of a lot of these as well but the next two books that i'm getting rid of are part of a series they are go ask alex and jay's journal by anonymous these were so freaking trendy in like 2014 2013 like i remember like buying these and being like like reading them at school and being like oh I'm, I'm cool i'm different they smell so dusty <coughs> yeah i literally haven't touched these in forever these are actually if i remember correctly real diaries of people that have died but this follows a teenage girl who was laced with lsd at a party and then just slowly spiraled into addiction that eventually took her life and this is like if i remember correctly this is like her full-on diary like her actual diary that they published into a book it literally says read her diary enter her world you will never forget her so forgettable and maybe there's a reason for that maybe it's because it wasn't meant to be written as like a book with intrigue you know with a plot and carry it was just like some you know young woman's diary but like uh... and i'm pretty sure the only reason i gave jay's journal a chance another book in like the series or this world is because i just wanted to be cool and trendy and then i also hated this one so <laughs> again same thing except for this one follows another one jay um a young man who again spiraled into addiction and then ended up taking his own life and this is his di it's literally like the same thing just different people and i believe there's like two or three more i feel, I feel so bad talking about because these are like real people and their experiences but i just hated reading about it the last book that i am unhauling is a thicky i definitely started this but i never finished it follows a girl named janie hannigan and she lives on the fringe where she's cursed with an ability where she can get sucked into other people's dreams but then she is sucked into a nightmare and for the first time jd discovers that the local burnout cable is the person having the nightmares and that cable is hiding a few secrets of his own and it's like a romance kind of between them so kind of like a sci-fi ish type book but it's called don't close your eyes by lisa mcmahon and i remember i read probably a good like 100 150 pages of this but i just wasn't interested enough in the story to keep reading i remember it being just like so much longer than i felt like it needed to be at the time i was like why like there was just a lot of excess i'm getting rid of it and i bought it for nine dollars and 34 cents apparently at the time <laughs> um that's that and that is the stack of books that i will be unhauling okay i'm gonna go stream and get some work done besos so it is tuesday i didn't really have anything else to show yesterday and it's not really that much of an exciting day but i do have two big things one we get to take the cats to the vet because they are due to be updated on their like yearly vaccinations and then after that i have class for like four hours so that's basically gonna be my tuesday i just got ready for the day i am gonna be wearing this like really cute purple sweater that i just got from tj maxx but since i'm gonna be like taking the cats i know they're just gonna get hair all over me so i'm gonna wear something else in the meantime and i'm actually wearing this jacket which i want to show you one of my best friends lily got this for me she found it at just like the local thrift store it's literally a taco bell jacket and it says taco bell on the side i have no idea if this is like what employees wear so i guess if you work at taco bell let me know literally one of the best things ever like i'm obsessed with it it's just plain black and it's so so good you ready to go to the vet you ready to go get some shots he said shots like tequila you don't want to go back there trust me you don't want to go back there that's where the bad guys are he just spends the entire time begging to go in the bag and then chicky likes to just hide in a corner huh <laughs> <laughs> should be in and out pretty quick though let me get to go home 
This is how sushi marks his territory. He just sprawls out in the middle of the floor. This is what he does at home. Okay, we are home. Got all our shots. Now we're just eating, chilling. And I am about to go to class. I put on my new sweater. Isn't it so cute? Put on a little necklace. Living. Grabbing my book that I'm reading, my AirPods, and gonna head out and go to my lectures. I just got out of class and it is pouring rain. it wet as a dog i'm gonna head home josh said he has dinner waiting for me and then i'm gonna do an exciting little unboxing because i got an email while i was in class that a package of mine arrived so i'm eating pasta and i'm going to unbox my kindle sorry if it looks like i've been crying i probably have <laughs> i actually bought it used off of somebody selling it on eBay. Ta -da! I like that it still came in the original box. That's nice. Kindle paper white in sage. I really hope that I love this and I get used out of it. It's kind of why I bought a used one because I've had a Kindle once before in middle school. My mom got me one for like my birthday or Christmas or something and I just never used it. I ended up giving it to my sibling I think. I always have always preferred like physical books that I can hold in my hand, the paper, just everything about it. I like highlighting them. Just having a physical book has always been my preference but the reason I've come around and I decided to get one is because I've just been spending so much money on books and I read a lot late at night and Josh goes to bed really early because he has to wake up early for work. So a lot of the time I'm like reading late at night and he's sleeping next to me and I have like a reading light, but I feel like it's like too bright sometimes and I don't wanna bug him. I can read a lot more books on here for a lot less money than like buying a physical paperback. So I think my goal is to subscribe to the Kindle Unlimited subscription, which is like $10 a month and you get access to like so many books. Like a lot of books that are on my TBR are actually part of Kindle Unlimited and that's kind of why I became like, piques my interest. And then when I discovered that they had Sage ones, I was like, oh, say less, you know? The girl that I bought this from, the pictures were so aesthetic. She like took them like by the window with like in, in golden hour. When I bought it, I literally put like in a note, I was like, your pictures are so beautiful. <laughs> Here's the charger and then the actual Kindle. And it's in such good condition. And you can use Goodreads on here. I didn't know you could do that. I do have a Goodreads if you aren't following me yet or friends with me on Goodreads. I'll have it in the description box. Oh my gosh, I get a three month free trial of Kindle Unlimited. <gasps> That's even better. Welcome to Kindle Unlimited. Woo! I'm hype. Might just read a book on this tonight and test it out. Oh my gosh, and I just noticed it syncs up with your Goodreads and it shows you what books are on your like want to read that they have available. Oh, that is so sick. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. Happy Wednesday. I have some coffee today. It's actually snowing, but I wanted to do a little bit of an update regarding my Kindle. I filled out the vlog because I want to talk about this book that I started reading. So I gave in last night. I downloaded a whole bunch of books that were on my TBR that were available through Kindle Unlimited or Prime Reading. And I actually ended up starting one yesterday and it is Lilac by BB Reed. And I ended up DNFing it. I was so excited to read this book, looking and seeking out more enemies to lovers recommendations and romances and people had recommended this one, but it was a little bit different because it's a reverse harem, which if you're unfamiliar, a harem is typically like one guy dating multiple women and not in a way where he's like cheating on them. Similar to like polyamory, I guess, but not quite. 
Uh, so this is a reverse harem, so it's one girl with multiple guys, and she ends up like hooking up with all the guys and kind of falling for all the guys. And I had never read anything like that, so I was kind of like, I'm down. That's interesting. And I had seen a lot of people talk about this. And I just want to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I managed to force myself to read through page 182, which is only 34% of the book. Like, this is like a 600 page book, which is absurd, by the way. Like, there's just no reason for it to need to be this long. I can understand a book being really long, and I don't mind reading long books if the plot is justified in the world building. You need that time to like build these characters, build these relationships. This, you, we did not. BB Read, we did not need that. I got to like around 200, and I was like, I. I can't do this. I would explain in depth kind of the things I didn't like about it, but I'm just gonna read little sections that I highlighted and maybe you can understand why I DNF'd this. Page 56. I couldn't deny my sexism, so I ignored it instead. Page 69. There's more to life than just sex. You sound like a fucking virgin. Page 122. This conversation is coming dangerously close to sexist, asshole. I chuckled in response because I genuinely didn't give a shit. Page 164. You're definitely not marriage material. Men like meat and girls who like meat. And page 166. If you're looking for someone to be good to you when he's not inside of you, I'm not your guy. Those were just various quotes and thoughts of all three of the main guys in this, in this story. I'm supposed to be rooting for these characters? I'm supposed to like enjoy the, the smut? I'm supposed to like want to see them redemption i'm supposed to see them like want to get together with the main girl um you're delusional <laughs> you are delusional i'm okay with a bully romance i'm okay with a mean guy or a mean girl like kind of picking on and bullying somebody and then they end up liking each other but like when we bring in sexism homophobia transphobia anything like that you're done if you guys have any recommendations for actually good harem or reverse harem stories, let me know because I'm still interested in reading one. Like that seems intriguing to me, but now I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm, I'm scared. Now I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty much all the updates I have for now. We're at dinner. We came to Chili's because Chili's is always a safe bet. Chili's is always good. I got a sunrise margarita. <laughs> That's from mine. Am I on margarita number two? Yes. Do I regret anything? Not at all. Hi guys. Happy Thursday. Today's gonna be a pretty boring day for me. I'm just doing homework and I have class at 4.30. But I was up really late reading because I started a new book on my Kindle, which maybe I'll update you by at the end of the vlog, we'll see. It's currently like 12 p.m. I'm just setting down in my office, but I wanted to put you guys on these. Recently, Josh and I have been getting Lara bars a lot. They're just like 200 calories, a little protein bar. I don't think there's that much protein in it. It's like four grams of protein, but still, it's just like five real ingredients, quick, easy breakfast. I just tried this flavor for the first time today, coconut chocolate chip, so good. It literally tastes like those Samoa Girl Scout cookies. So if you're a fan of those, want something that's probably a little bit better for you, try these, they're really good. It's just dates, chocolate chips, sugar, cocoa butter, coconut, cashews, almonds. So good. We made shepherd's pie for dinner. And we're watching Love is Blind. Hi guys, happy Friday. It's like 12 p.m. right now. Honestly, I woke up and I just finished reading the book that I was reading. But, but I wanted to come on the vlog because I got a package and I thought I'd do a little unboxing. I ordered some stuff that's gonna make me a real gamer. <gasps> G Fuel. If you're unfamiliar, G Fuel is like this energy drink. It's like zero sugar low calorie, you mix it with water and it's supposed to give you energy. And I've always wanted to try it. I think Josh had some back like when we were in high school, but I didn't really remember it. So I got a trial box with some different flavors. We have rainbow sherbet, blue ice, which is like blue raspberry, Bahama mama, which is like tropical coconut, cotton candy. Cause if you know anything about me, I love cotton candy. I think we should make one. I think I want to try the rainbow sherbet. I got to get my shaker bottle. Oh, it's powdery. <laughs> Shake this bad boy up. The 
It's good. Mmm. Approved. I'd give this flavor a 7 out of 10. I like it. I don't think I would like it enough to buy like a huge jug of it with like 40 servings, but I like it. I'm gonna drink this, get ready, film an ASMR video, and then I gotta prepare for stream tonight because I am doing a Michael Myers cosplay stream, but I'm gonna do Yassified Michael Myers. Gorgeous. I've got to put like false lashes, blush on my Michael mask that I got. So I'll probably get work done and then do that. I'll keep you updated. Boo. Did I get you? I don't know if I mentioned this already in the vlog, but I got chosen to apply for this award that my university gives to the top 11 graduates of the year graduating with a bachelor's degree but you have to like apply for it and be interviewed and then be chosen so i submitted my application today got a letter of recommendation from my teacher all that stuff so i just did all that and now i'm going to get to work on yassifying this bad boy you know i gotta say i've, I've done makeup on things i've done makeup on myself i've done makeup on my friends but uh never done makeup quite like this so I'm ready to gaslight gatekeep and girl boss. It's Britney, bitch. I think this might be the best I've ever looked. What do you guys think? Okay, well, I'm gonna go stream, so talk to you later. Hi guys, happy Saturday. I thought that I would close out this vlog with a little Kindle update. Ignore this ad. My Kindle is ad supported. I thought that I would talk about the books that I had read from Kindle Unlimited as well as kind of go through my TBR that I have downloaded because I did go and download quite a few books. I've read two books this week from Kindle Unlimited and they were something. They were something. Okay, first one we already talked about earlier in the video, which was Lilac by B.B. Reed, which I DNF'd about halfway through. Um, but then yesterday I finished Dirty Letters by V. Keeland and Penelope Ward, and I rated it a two stars. It really took me back to my Justin Bieber fan fiction days, and I feel like if I would have read this story when I was 13, on Justin Bieber fan fiction archive. I would have been obsessed with it. It was so cheesy. And just some of the characters made no sense. Like this girl's therapist is also her neighbor, but they like hang out together and they go on a road trip together and they're like BFFs. And it just is like, what happened to like patient, doctor, like professional, like I'm pretty sure there's guidelines against that. The dude's like a rock star and he just like buys all the shit for her. The one thing I will say that I enjoyed about this book was that I felt like it handled topics of mental health, specifically agoraphobia, very, very well. Uh, but other than that, it was just a cringe cheese ball, cheesy cheese fest. There's one, one particular part in this book that I don't think I could ever get over and it involves masturbating with a Furby. So yeah, that was like borderline traumatizing. Um, the fact that two separate women decided that that would be like fun and quirky to add and continually reference throughout this book. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving. So I'm a little bit nervous going forward with Kindle Unlimited books. So, so far two for two, not doing the best. Okay, but I thought I would share with you some of the ones that I've downloaded. I recently just started reading The Selection, which apparently is like the series that everyone read in middle school. And I guess I just missed that memo. I didn't, I did not get the memo. I did not read this in middle school, but it follows a girl named America Singer. Hate her name, like everything about it. Oh, but um, she gets basically selected to go and be part of these like 35 women who are kind of competing to marry the prince. So it's kind of like The Bachelor. So far I'm 39% of the way through and out of the three books I've read so far, I am enjoying it the most, but check my Goodreads if you want updates on how it goes with the rest of the book. I know it's a series. I'm not sure if I'm gonna read the entire series. I don't know yet. I also have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I'm pretty sure this is just like an enemies to lovers sort of fantasy book looking for something that will make me feel the way that the cruel prince did i saw good recommendations about this and i actually put it on my wish list and then today i figured out it was a kindle unlimited so i downloaded that i also have promises and pomegranates this is a hades and persephone retelling i don't really know much about mythology um i don't know much about the hades and persephone story as it is i kind of just tuned all that out 
when I was in school, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but it sounded intriguing by the blurb, so I downloaded that. I have Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I've had actually a few of you guys recommend Birthday Girl when I talked about how much I loved Punk 57. The reason I'm like hesitant to read Birthday Girl is because I don't like age gaps. To me, it just kind of feels like predatory, weird. Like why is a 30 plus year old man interested in like an 18 year old girl? why but i'll probably give it a shot at some point i also have the fine print which is a billionaire romance and it follows this girl who gets a job working for he's basically like walt disney you know like he owns like a really big theme park and i'm sure a romantic engagement ensues and then we have the wall of winnipeg in me by mariana zapata out of all of mariana zapata's books this one seemed the most intriguing to me so i downloaded it follows an nfl player who had this assistant that he just treated pretty poorly and she kind of quit and was just like fuck you whatever i want to go find a different job but then he shows up at her door and i think it's like a marriage of convenience trope like i think he needs a green card or something um so they get married but they hate each other which sounds right up my alley in terms of tropes and it's a slow burn so I'm hope I have high hopes for that. I've never read a Mariana Zapata book before. But yeah, so those are all my Kindle Unlimited TBR picks as of right now. It's what I have downloaded. Other than that, I've been really enjoying my Kindle. I feel like I read so fast on it. Like the fact that I've read two books in the span of like three or four days is like pretty remarkable. So far, I'm not really loving the Kindle Unlimited selection. Is it worth the money? Yeah, I'd say so because it's only 10 bucks a month when that's like less than you would spend on even like one book. So far, I like it. Honestly, the best part about it is being able to read at night and not like annoy Josh. Like it's so nice. That is going to be everything for this video, this little week in my life vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below. I will have all my so other socials, my other YouTube channel, my Twitch, all that fun stuff linked in the description as well if you want to check me out anywhere else. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or your night or whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.